I think for a lot of wrestlers, it's crippling though, because they don't see beyond that wrestling bubble mm -hmm. on YouTube, you know, and there there's, that's the market they look for. That's the trip people they're trying to expand to. Yeah, and yeah. let's say for instance, if you have a video you know, and every video you hit gets 200,000 likes, you know, that's a major difference than, you know, chocolate rain getting 580 billion likes or whatever. So it, it, I don't know if you're the one that told me this before. So it's what can you do that's going to appeal them to more than just wrestling? Fans, exactly. Right. And, and that's me as a performer. I get angry about it. Me as a wrestling enthusiast, I get angry about it. Me mm -hmm. as a historian, I get angry about it because again, your general John Q public doesn't like wrestling like the people we're associated with. No. So when young wrestlers are going out there trying to do the latest cool thing to go viral in the wrestling world and get their tweets and get put over in this market, that might not be the best thing for their, for, for their career. Whereas some kid that might not do any you know high spots at all cuts the best damn promo since you know Randy Savage or Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. That guy might you know he could be a laughing stock of the independent wrestling group. But if he were to know to expand his horizons beyond the independent wrestling community, mm -hmm. he could be a bigger damn star than anybody in the indie wrestling community. And it, it, for, it's just for me, it's kind of frustrating because I think like, come on, guys, quit playing by mm -hmm. the rules. Get out of your ass. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? This could be everybody could make more money, expand to a larger market. And, you know, wrestling would be even hotter. If you didn't appeal to wrestling fans, mm -hmm. appeal to the masses. And that's like, yeah, that's like you were saying. It's like, if that's all you're looking to, oh, I just want to make that group happy. It's like, you've, there's your ceiling right there. Mm -hmm. You know, but you've got to take kind of your personal preferences and stuff out of it too. You, you know, if it is like, oh, how am I going to get the biggest crowd that I'm going to get? 